Hi, I'm Neil. I work in product marketing at Doist, and I'm here to talk about Todoist sorting options. Sorting options let you sort your task list in all sorts of new ways by due date, by name, and a whole bunch of other options. Let's get into a few examples to see what I mean. So here we are in Todoist, and we're looking at a meetings project right now. And we've got our tasks in the order that works for us right now. But let's say we wanted to change that order. We want to look at it in the order of due dates to see which meetings are coming up. We click on this sort icon right up here, and then we click on sort by due date, and there you go. You've got it kind of, you can see you've got coffee with John and a meeting with the design team today and what's coming up in the week. Uh, if you look up here, you'll see what's the active sort, and we'll get to that in a second, but let's look at another example for now. So let's hop over to our today view, and we'll see we've got a lot of tasks on the docket today. But what if we want to split that up so we can look at it in terms of different projects? You know, it's not always great to just look at a long list of tasks in one way. So we click over on sort again, and now we'll do a custom sort. And we group the tasks. There's a lot of options. Right now we'll group it by project. And we click sort. And you'll see that your today view is now split up. It's chunked. So you've got, you know, all your personal tasks in one area, all your work tasks in one area. That allows you to group tasks together when you're working as well. You can say, oh, I'm going to take on all my work tasks after lunch, for instance. And when you're done, you can just hop over here, click the X to reset the sorting options, and you've got your big long list back if that's what you need. Now with a big long list like this, maybe there's some other way you want to sort it. Why don't we try sorting it by name? That can be really useful. Here it is, sort, sort alphabetically. That can be really useful, you know, on an event launch day. If you have so many events and you're going to need to find things really quickly, like, you know, a, a contract, you'll be able to find the task by name really, really fast and get to it, especially when you're on mobile. And speaking of which, any sort you do will look just the same on mobile or any device. So when you pull up your phone, you're going to see it looking the exact same way and you can cancel it as well by pressing the X if you don't want to look at that right now. So here we are looking at another project called Cleaning Plan. This is a team project where you've got a lot of people working on different tasks. You've got some stuff assigned to Patrick, assigned to Antonia. Now, using sorting options in combination with board view can be really effective. So let's click on more project actions here and click view as board. And we'll see we've got all the tasks lined up, but they're grouped by section and we haven't used a section yet. So you can group a list like this really easy. Click on sort, click on custom sort, and let's try grouping by assignee. So whoever it's been assigned to, click sort again. And there you go. Now you have a visual way to see the way people are working on different tasks. It's very easy to understand by scanning it how the responsibilities are divided up. It's kind of a game changer for the way that you work with teams. Uh, and when we designed boards, you, you know, these custom sorting options were part of the plan. And the great thing is it's super versatile. You can go and click over on this. This is how you change the options at any time. You just click on it again. And now let's try grouping by priority to see what's the most important thing. And what I'll do here is I'll also sort by assignee. So it'll group it by priority and sort it by assignee within each priority. So there we go. We can see it grouped by priority. We've got four priority one tasks and you can see it's sorted so that the, the tasks assigned to Andrew are first and the, the tasks assigned to Patrick are next. There's really a lot of options and you're going to have to play around to find what works for you. And it doesn't really affect your original order because you can always just click X and go back to the original. So definitely play around with this as much as possible and find what works. So here we are in the inbox and a lot of you might use the Todoist inbox. It's the default place where tasks get added. If you're on the go using your phone and you add a task really quickly, it'll end up here. So this user has 12 tasks, you might have 100. So let's say one day you decide you want to just clear out that inbox. Well, one cool way that you could do it is look at the date the tasks were added and start from the oldest first so that things aren't lagging too often. So we'll go to custom sort and we'll group by date added, which means the date the task was added. So as we can see here, you know, on Monday, April 30th, which was months ago, I had added a task to watch the conference live stream, let's say. And, you know, I want to get that done. I obviously had some intention. So now I can do it and get that done. And I, if I keep going down, I'll make sure to kind of pick up all the things I'd missed along the way. 
Um, it's really useful and you can sort as well. You don't have to group it. You can kind of sort by date added and then it kind of is just a long list and you can you know that if you start at the top you'll, you'll get done what you need to get done so if you're using labels and filters uh, to really get the most out of Todoist with Todoist Premium you're gonna have a lot of options for how you look at your task lists and it really can give you an edge to get things done quicker so here we're looking at 15 minutes it's a label that you apply to tasks that only take 15 minutes and let's say you're, you've got a little break and you want to get something done. We can just quickly sort it by due date. And then you can say, hey, I've got this controller mapping task due tomorrow and I've got 15 minutes and I can knock it off. So it gives you these workflows that really can improve your life, make the best use of your time. Being able to sort labels and filters is brand new and will really take those to the next level. So speaking of labels, you can also sort and group projects by label as well. And I'll show you what I mean. If we hop over to this shopping list project, we can see we've got a lot of items that we need to buy assigned to all kinds of people. Now, if we group it by label, we'll be able to see an important distinction. We had labeled some shopping items on the road, which we wanna buy while we're driving, and we labeled some online below. And those are, um, things we wanted to buy online. So the, oppor the uh, opportunities are kind of endless in terms of how you want to define your task lists when you use labels. So I strongly suggest you give it a shot. So finally, we'll look at filters, one of the most powerful features in Todoist Premium. It allows you to enter search queries and essentially isolate exactly what you want to see. Uh, for example, we're looking at next three days here. It's a filter that allows you to look at just the tasks that are occurring in the next three days. Now, it's a long list, of course, divided by day, uh, which is useful. But let's say right now you want to look at it by project. We go to a custom sort. We group by project. And we'll sort it by priority, too, so that within each group we can see what's most important. And there it goes. Now we, know, we can really get a glance at the way our next three days are going to shape up you know, the way our work, personal finances, cleaning plans, all the different projects that are in our purview um, matter. And we can focus our attention on the things that matter too. So that's sorting options for Todoist. I hope you've seen some examples that inspire you for how you can look at your task lists in new ways and come up with workflows. And uh, I know I personally use the Today View sorted by project every single day. And I hope you find something that you use every day too. Thanks.